all my friends, they're they're just amazed and they're like, Wow, Kira, you're amazing. Things like that. They all think it's really cool. Well, joining me now from North London is Emma Mulqueeny, founder of Festival of Code, which aims to introduce young people in the UK to the intricacies of coding. Uh, Emma, thanks for being with us. When we say young people, it has been predominantly young men, hasn't it, up to now? But is that now changing? Um, yeah, it is changing, but it's, it's changing because we're making an effort to welcome girls, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's gone, certainly in the Festival of Code, it's gone from 2% to 30% over seven years. So we're happy. Still a way to go. What, is, what can you do to sell the idea to young people as a whole, and in particular young girls? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, we need boys and girls in this industry. It's not, it's not just a, a single gender problem. But, um, but I think I, you can attract girls by just making it mainstream, by just making sure that everything that you do is fun, is relevant. It's not just something that you go and sit and do in your bedroom. You know, you, you can actually do things with the apps that you play with every day, or you can make a game that is just for you and your friends. You can come to places like this in Ticketmaster and you can build things that perhaps help then make buying tickets for festivals easier. Now tell me about the, the building blocks you need. Uh, traditionally, if you're a good mathematician, you probably have the logic skills to go into coding. But is that necessarily the case? Not at all anymore. I mean, it does depend on what kind of coding you want to do. But just for kind of general app building, really, you just need to be able to have the logic flow. So be able to say, I want this to happen and then that. And then you copy and paste, really, it is as simple as that. There are so many tools that you can use and you just run them together. It's really simple. There's been lots of efforts, haven't there, to try and improve coding, code clubs and things like that, and now the national curriculum is going to change. But are we improving the coding literacy of youngsters fast enough? I don't think we can ever improve fast enough. I mean, the digital world is moving so quickly at the moment that there's no way we're going to be able to keep up. But I think that we can't rely on just schools and traditional methods. What we have to do is kind of embrace all of the things that are happening around the world so that children can go and take these opportunities. So for example, like the festival that we're running this summer, it's free, anybody can come, and it happens around the UK, but also outside as well. And there are lots of things like this going on. So kind of, I would say, look for the opportunities, let children engage, see if they enjoy it. If they enjoy it, let them do it more. If they don't, let them go and do something else. What happens at your Festival of Code around the country then? Uh, they kind of go into centres like this one and they build apps, websites or um, write algorithms from Monday to Friday and then at the end of the week we all come together for a big weekend festival show and tell where we do heats and then we do semi-finals and then a big final on Sunday where we find the best coding child aged 18 or under and um, we have lots of fun there's tons of stuff going on there's music there's uh, photo booths there's graffiti walls there's not just sitting programming there's lots of good things going on but yes everybody's welcome we still got a few spaces <laughs> all right you've done the good sales pitch thank you emma mulqueeny who's founder of festival of code uh, have a look out for a festival of code near you thanks for joining us today